So by now you should be comfortable with uh, just playing these patterns that we used and uh, please make sure to go back to the legato uh, video and try to apply all these possible combinations that we saw then to all these exercises that we've done up until now. So those were cool but they're kind of static so you know you just generate this particular sound and you're kind of stuck with it until you move the strings. So now we're going to take control of the actual uh, melody and harmony we're going to produce with the, actual, with the tapping. And uh, the best way to do it is just start moving one hand, then we're going to move the next, and then we're going to move all of them at the same time. Moving the hands around allows you to actually take advantage of whatever you know about chords, about arpeggios, and about scales, and just play these things as if you were actually playing with a hand that has eight fingers, right? So that's the whole point. The way we learn about this is just take it one step at a time, and so right now we're going to focus on moving this hand, the left hand. So this one will stay on the 12th fret that we've been, worked on, that we've been working on uh, up until now. So there's not, not much you have to think about there. Just hit it when, it when you have to. And then this hand will take this pattern, which is one uh, finger per fret. And we're going to use the first finger and the little finger. Okay, just these two. So we move them around always in the same pattern. They're always going to cover four frets, and you're always going to use first and fourth finger. And what we're going to do now is actually do this. Uh, 12 stays there, we do 5-8. Move up the whole group here, we move it up 2 frets to 7 and 10. We're going to move down 3 to 4 and 7. And then we're going to move up again 1 fret to go back where we were. So it sounds like this. Like that. Uh, how fast should you move, uh, you know, how many repetitions you should have on the left hand, it really depends on how comfortable you are. So again, as always, start with long, long uh, sequences, maybe 16 times each one. And then you go down and down until you reach one sequence per uh, group. Anything to be careful about is really the same thing as before. You hide behind the 12th fret. And then you can move, see? I don't do this! because then I get all these weird slides and strange sounds. I just wait for this, and then I can just move. Okay, now when you play very fast, it kind of looks like you're doing it at the same time. But you're actually just waiting for the 12th fret and then move up. Okay, uh, let's have a look uh, from close up, and then we're gonna move this other hand.